Hello, my name is Natalie Bodewick and my AP investigation is aimed to answer the question, how do the senses evoke mental responses? I noticed my initial ideas for topics all included aspects of childhood, and I wanted my final question to mix my love for nostalgic images with pieces of my present self. By leaving my question largely open-ended, I was able to focus on the mixtures of the past and present and of physical and mental processes. The way stream of consciousness works has always fascinated me, and I wanted to explore the mind in many different ways. Through my pieces, I looked at how we associate sight, smell, sound, and touch with mental images such as memories or associations. I used artistic techniques to convey when the images were meant to be memories. My personal memories and current views of myself are mostly positive, so my portfolio reflects that and is meant to evoke feelings of happiness and nostalgia from viewers. For example, in my mixed media piece of my dad and me at the duck pond, I used bright colors and unblended strokes to invoke the feelings of nostalgia. When I looked through photographs of my family albums, such as the one that I used as the base of this piece, I am reminded of how I picture my childhood, which is largely through bright colors. In my first piece of the year, I also used color to signify a memory and a feeling. The main idea behind this piece was to convey the feeling of affection behind a mother's touch. To relate this to my personal experience, I used the image of my mom brushing my hair, which was something she did all the time when I was little. I contrasted the realism of the hair with the colorful hand. The emphasis on the hand is meant to prove that the feeling is coming from the sense of touch, and the bright colors in the hand symbolize the happiness of this memory. Throughout my investigation, I have grown in the use of my techniques, specifically in my mark making. I have left my marks mostly unblended since the beginning, but as I get more practice, the marks have begun to look more intentional. I have also explored many different materials this year. I am comfortable with acrylic paint, graphite pencil, and prismacolors, but I push myself to also include watercolor, photographs, and pastels in some of my pieces. In my final pieces, which I am currently working on, I hope to improve my mark making and ideas even more by discovering new ways to convey intangible ideas. Something I've been proud of throughout my investigation is the color palettes I create for each piece. In the few pieces I have left, I want to continue the use of bright colors and dreamlike images. Thank you!